Well, somebody wanted in. Nearly blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin, huh? Wonder where that is. <sighs> Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Positions. Helpful. Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. These wires must run to the power source. Osaram must have forced his way through here. You just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... Uh, flood a little. So I push the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. And by the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. <laughs> and thusly do we come to the present moment. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl, two sets of hands. Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. Rough waters. No way I'd be able to swim. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? You know, I'm reminded of a delve I undertook out near the clan. A stone ruin, cloud tall and lake wide. Must have been 13 levels on that monstrosity, but no wall. Just straight stone columns bearing the weight of the level above. 
filled out with roll upon roll of those enormous busted out old world carts. You know the ones uh, with the four wheels? I've scraped through a hundred of those carts. But the only things I've ever seen inside are soon enough. Marvelous! You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right you are! Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Ought to lock this thing in place. One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go, and no further. <laughs> Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. Now, how are we gonna get up there? Looks like I could jump across on that. <laughs> nice <laughs> jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! <laughs> Never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks, I think. Oh, you're close, girl. Just spring across the gap. Ah, huh? you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. Now we've done this once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you'd take the valve on the other side. If it's set up the same way on this side, I should look for an access tunnel. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. Uh, it's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I can't jump straight to the counterweight from here. But I could climb higher, get above it. Low enough to jump. You can make it. Let's see another one of those mad leaps. <laughs> Got it. We're good to go. You were a sight to see. 
bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. <laughs> Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! Dead. Ha! Marvelous. So, the uh, ring. Maybe if you pry its jaws open and reach inside, I can't look. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the old Gildan intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen routes can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room! To the spoils! Ooh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. Should we have a look? Right? Uh, merch. We need merch. Stickers! You're not a real band until someone vandalizes the government property with your stickers. Colleagues, I have been asked to remind you that conversations determined to be irrelevant to servitor training are discouraged. What were you saying about vandalizing government property? Sure. All right. Time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. <laughs> no, indeed. Not old Gildan. job demands a certain degree of patience, doesn't it? I'm afraid I inherited my mother's restlessness. Looks like I'm on the right track. This a while, girl. No room to judge, mind. I once spent half a day flummoxed by a Karja puzzle box. <laughs> there. One step closer. 
Something's not right. There, that should do it. I should head back. See if that took care of the rest of the water. Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did. Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? Ugh, it stinks down here. Mm. Looks like that's everything. You smell that? I should head Ugh. back up with Gilda. Smells like a Ford side morning in the claim. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room... I can't wait, I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mum and I used to. There, girl. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I would... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! <clears throat> By the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Oh, that 
That's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! <laughs> you are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? Whew, you're braver than me. For that. <laughs> You're not gonna like that. Definitely coming from inside this ruin. I can feel it in my chest. Ugh.
That's quite a sound you're making. I'm Aloy. I just lowered the waters from the dam, north of here. The water came from the Grey Catch? And it was you that stopped it? Then I owe you the deepest of thanks. I'm Laulai, the drummer of this place. Deep din, as my father was and his mother before him. But recently the river rose and the basin flooded. I thought it was a curse. Our sacred instrument lost for good. Not quite a curse. Just a clumsy Osaram. Mm-hmm. I think I saw him not long ago in Song's Edge. He talks a lot. Like he thought his voice was melody. That's the one. Well, I'll let you get back to your music. Yes. I'm eager to play, after being kept away by the waters. But please, take this. I meant it when I said I owe you. This place means a lot to me. And my family. Let's see. What shall I play next? The echoes are different off wet stone. The sound is warmer. 